Ooh. close. Anyway, I just wanted to go on record saying how much I support the Black Lives Matter movement and all that they've accomplished so far. I just got to give them credit. I think it really started, you know, back when those two brave women got up on stage, the big fat ones, and uh, yelled at Bernie Sanders, who's an old man, and pointed their finger at him and demanded um, to be able to speak at an event that wasn't theirs. That was a brilliant fucking idea. I, I just thought it was it was just so well done, and it was so well thought out. And make no mistake, Bernie Sanders backed down at his own rally, and so did his staffers, who probably put it together and paid for it. But it doesn't matter. See, they got their point across. They got up on stage and they told everybody to be quiet and to listen because they had something to say. And they did. They had something to say. I don't really remember what it is right now, what they had to say, except telling people to shut up. I'm sure it was something epic and i'm just not remembering that right now so fucking shame on me all right and you know also how they're handling everything in chicago tonight i just think they're doing beautifully that guy who was shot 16 times that cop's a fucking idiot i hope he rots in jail but i really want to go out and again praise black lives matter as far as just the wonderful work they've been doing here um you know like they have been doing elsewhere you know interrupting stuff and Blocking traffic, you know, I mean, not that the people who are in the trap, the car or any place they interrupted have had anything to do with, you know, these horrible crimes that are committed against black people. But there's a point to it. There is. And also, you know, yeah, last night the cops were out there trying to stop them from getting to Michigan Avenue. And yeah, they had to push the cops a few times. So what? Those cops are fucking assholes. Big deal. They they like shoved some cops, you know. They would have done it even if the camera wasn't there. I think. Though they would have. They would have. Don't fucking say they wouldn't have, because that's fucking that's bullshit. They would have. Right? And like tonight, I mean, they fucking made their point about this asshole cop who is being, you know, he's already they want they want a, they want an answer. He's been charged already for murder. But they want they want more. You know, Black Lives Matter wants more. They are going to march and they've torn down Christmas decorations. All right. So you fucking pigs think you're so fucking special. Well, you're not. We got your Christmas decorations and right now. They're out there in Millennium Park, like impeding people from maneuvering around in the cold at night. They've done that. Because you need to fucking learn. Black Lives Matter. And they've also said another brilliant plan. Whoever thought of this, this is fucking really genius. They are going to stop. They're going to interrupt Black Friday. Get it? Like Black Friday sales and shit like that. And they're going to go there and um, probably yell at people and block people from shopping. Even though if they block people from shopping, that would kind of, you know fuck up commerce a little bit like but it's important because when they do that i mean why they're going to do that it's because to prove that black lives matter and you can't shop if you don't think they do so for everybody's fucking dissing black lives matter big fuck you because they are changing a lot of things you won't shop you can't have Christmas decor, uh, and if you're in your car and they happen to be marching and you have to get grandma to the hospital because she's having a fucking seizure, tough shit. You should have thought about that. You really should have. I mean, come on. Come on. In all seriousness, that cop's a fucking dick. Deserves to get his ass thrown in jail for life, but I am proud of my Black Lives Matter people, and I hope they keep doing that. Great work that they're doing. And um, I'm sure that if cameras were not there, they'd still be doing this. I'm positive. And the media is not trying to incite a riot by keep saying that there's unrest and they're sure something's going to happen and showing empty streets and where shops are not guarded. They are not. The media is not doing that. They are not. Do not even think that. They're not. They're not. All right? So... 
they matter. Don't shop, because if you do, you might have to wait. All right?